The Healthy Seas initiative is really exciting, firstly because it's bringing together some really new partners and because it's solution based. The problem it's tackling is the very, very big problem of discarded and abandoned fishing nets that are floating around our oceans or trapped around uh, shipwrecks and catching fish. So continuing to catch and kill marine life even though they're not actually part of the fishing industry itself. So this is really removing that waste, using the enthusiasm and passion of divers, getting them involved and in making our environment healthier. What's particularly exciting about the Healthy Seas Initiative is it's connecting those nets that are collected with the supply chain. So then converting it using the Econel process to come up with Econel yarn, so recycling it into something that can make products such as socks. So you've got f really from shipwrecks to socks. I feel really privileged to be here in Slovenia, firstly because I'm passionate about the ocean and we're surrounded by a really stunning place. So the ocean's right here, it's really, we're living and breathing the issues that we're facing. We're seeing why we want to protect such a beautiful environment. And the fact is that we look out over the water here in Slovenia, we see the wonderful surface, what we can't see is what is going on, on underneath. And for so many people, the oceans are invisible. You see the surface, but you have no concept of the life, but also the death that's underneath the waters. So it's been fantastic to be able to talk to people from a range of different backgrounds. So I've had conversations about material science, about polymers, about where the recycling industry is going. And as a marine biologist and a conservationist, those are the kind of connections I would never make. So I think there's a lot that's going to come out of today and go forward to really do something exciting. I'm a fish biologist and I've been just been looking at fish, the thing I love on a fish farm. What's exciting is to see a sustainable fish farm. It's thinking about everything. So it's not just thinking about the things that as a fish biologist I think about is what do you feed the fish? Where does the waste go? What antibiotics are you giving them? all of those kind of things, they're actually thinking about the whole picture. So what's the net made of? What happens at the end of its life? And are involving that in the whole recycling chain. So the Healthy Seas Initiative and being involved with the discussions today has opened my mind to a whole new dimension. It's not just about the biology and the ecology, but it's about the whole picture of, of actually doing things sustainably and thinking about everything. So all that's involved. So if it's a if it's an aquaculture cage, then what's that made of? And what happens to it at, at the end of its life? And what's exciting is to see that the whole process that Aquafil has developed is really offering some solutions that weren't there before.